welcome to another installment of Johnny Mac's Bring That Mac Back, where we take an older Mac and breathe new life into it. Today we have a 2011 27-inch iMac. This is a great machine with a lot of upgrade potential. What we're going to focus in on is replacing the video card with a metal-compatible graphics card so it can support a newer operating system. We're going to install two one terabyte solid states and raid those out in a stripe for the maximum performance. And then we're going to top it off with 32 gigs of RAM. So let's get started. After the side display screws have been removed from the LCD and the system memory have been removed from the bottom of the machine, care must be taken to disconnect the four cables that are connecting the LCD to the various components on the inside of the case. Damage to those cables or the sockets on the board can be very costly, so please take care. With the logic board removed and the rest of the machine set aside, we can now focus our attention on replacing the graphics card. With the graphics card separated from the logic board, remove the bracket on the back side of the graphics card. We will need this bracket on the new card. The card that we're replacing is the NVIDIA Quattro K4100M. Uh, it is a PC-based video card that we had to flash uh, to support the Mac operating system. And then once it's flashed, we have to mate it with a heat sink. Uh, this heat sink came out of a uh, Radeon 6970. Uh, it's a three-pipe heat sink. Uh, some modifications have to be made to the heatsink prior to mating it with the video card. Notably, the material in this area has to be removed or milled down so that it does not interfere with uh, the components on the reverse side of the card. Uh, once that's milled down, the card will sit flush and provide adequate cooling. This is when we have to use the bracket from the old card to secure the graphics card to the heatsink. Next, we install our solid state RAID, comprising of two one terabyte solid states. First drive in the traditional position, the second drive will be behind the optical drive, and then those will be striped out in software. Let's begin. With the logic board installed, I used two USB thumb drives to help align the ports in the back of the machine, and I keep them installed until the logic board is firmly screwed into place.
assembly complete, we have to install an operating system. Apple never supported Mojave for this machine, so we have to use DOS Dude's Mojave on unsupported Macs installer. A link will be provided in the description to his website with instructions on how to create the boot drive. Hold down the option key and then select the boot drive from the bootloader and begin the installation. Once the installer is loaded, we need a place to actually install Mojave. So we will have to take our two one terabyte drives and create a two terabyte Stripe RAID out of them. And uh, to do that, we use Disk Utility. And then you can use the RAID Assistant in the pull down menu in the top left corner of the screen. Choose the uh, top option for Stripe. Choose your two drives that you want to create the Stripe from. Create the RAID and when complete, continue on with the installation. Once the install is complete, you want to hold down the option key and reboot the machine and boot up again off the USB installer. Once you're back to the installer screen, you want to this time choose the post install option. And the post install option installs all the unsupported things. You would choose your specific Mac model. And then in our case, we want to turn off the graphics, uh, legacy graphics drivers because we actually have a modern graphics card. Go ahead and install, and then I do a cache, uh, force cache reboot, and we wait for it to reboot. So here we are at the Mojave setup screen, which means our OS install was a complete success, which means our project was a complete success. We've taken a 2011 iMac and brought it into, with the Mojave operating system, 2019, and with the internet and the industry supporting the operating systems for about four to five years, there's uh, about three and a half years of usefulness left in this machine. And I'm sure I could shoehorn Catalina on it if I wanted to and buy myself another year, but we'll cross that bridge when that time comes. For the most part, though, we've done what we came out to do, we took an older Mac and breathed new life into it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something, and I look forward to making more. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.